there, I'm April, and I'm here at Sprucewood Shores Estate Winery to talk wines and weddings with the Mitchell family. Come on and join me. So I'm sitting here with Tanya Mitchell, who's a longtime friend of mine, and she is one of the owners at Sprucewood Shores Estate Winery, which is in Amherstburg, Ontario. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And how long have you been open now? Ten years. Ten years. Well, but we've been... It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Tell me. Please tell me the long okay. story. We want to know. <laughs> well, actually... We'll make it short. <laughs> <Condense> okay. It. <laughs> I will. So we've been growing grapes for 25 years. Yeah. So we're actually on our 25th year coming up next year. Yeah. We uh, started making wine in 2004. However, oh. it took us about three years from starting wine to finishing the winery, the whole you know, construction, right. getting the business plan together. Everything took about three to four years. We were open to the public by two to 2007. And this was, now, correct me if I'm wrong, this was your sort of your dad's dream. Yes. The vineyard, you were selling grapes before you built. That's right. So we were growing grapes only and selling yeah. them to a few local wineries. Okay. Those wineries are some of the biggest wineries now in Canada, actually. Yeah. Oh. And her dad was a wonderful man, I have to mention. Thanks. He was one of the best guys ever. He's not with us anymore, but no. a mm -hmm. great family man and just a heart of gold. Yeah, he, he, he's well remembered here. He's left quite the legacy uh, behind. Yeah. And he certainly <laughs> uh, has a stamp of gourd all over this property. And uh, I feel like people really feel his presence here. I don't think there's any ghosts or anything, <laughs> but uh, yeah. um, they feel his presence when, he's, when they come in the door because his yeah. kids work for him. And, right. and, and not only my father, but my mom too. They, they both have a, a huge, had a huge impact on the construction of this entire yeah. property and facility and the building the personalities of who we are as well today and what our business is about now because it's a family-run business so right. when you walk in the door you feel family oh absolutely mm -hmm. I mean you can feel the passion and you can taste the wine I just had to actually sip of this wine and it's very it's like uh, crisp mm -hmm. and what is this one what am I this drinking? is the uh, an oak chardonnay we have mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's different from a normal Chardonnay. It's a little bit more crisp than usual, a little <laughs> yeah. more fruitier than a lot of Chardonnays. It's very summery. It's very summery, yeah. Yeah, I like it. So let's talk a little bit about weddings. How many are you doing right now a summer? Every weekend. We're yeah. booked solid from middle of April, April yeah. 15th, yeah. all the way through to middle of November. Okay. Yeah. We've uh, been doing weddings here since we opened as a winery. Yeah. When we first opened, we uh, had an idea. We thought, well, let's do a few weddings this summer. You yeah. know, let's yeah. let's just uh, have some fun with it. Right. We have a beautiful place here. I'm sure there'll be some interest. Well, we were really happy when we found out how much interest we had. Yeah. In it, because yeah. the people that like we had droves of people coming here saying, "Can we get married here? Like this place yeah. is beautiful." I had a friend that got married here, and it's funny. I was looking at her Facebook. Yeah. Just the other day. Yeah. And I was like, I recognize that building in the background. That's Sprucewood Shores Winery. Yeah. A lot yeah, of people I mean, are getting married here in now. The area, yeah. In the Windsor Essex County area. Yeah. They love it here because I mean, it's like it's rustic, but it's elegant, right? right? So right. it's casual, but it's fancy. Yeah. You know, and yeah. and it's it's natural. There's a lot of nature, a lot of beautiful uh, scenery around. We've got the waterfront, which is a huge selling feature for us lake, too. Which lake is this one? So yeah, we're yeah. right on the shores of Lake Erie. Yeah, a beautiful lake. It's a shallow lake, and uh, it's got a lot of pretty, pretty colors at certain yeah. times of the year. Sometimes it feels like we're in the Caribbean with the colors of the lake. You get what that about aqua for blue? Gorgeous pictures. You get sunset pictures out there on the water. We do. I mean, I have uh, some pictures from my own wedding that I cherish from the ones on the water because it's it's like the the sand is not white sand like Caribbean sand, but in right. the pictures it's so bright in the sun. Right. It looks like you're out. Um, so you have lots downtown. of bridegroom getting their pictures, and the whole bridal parties are, are being oh done yeah out all here. Okay. Well, that's kind of nice because we can do your ceremony, cocktails, pictures, right. and reception all in one spot. So the couples like it because their day is less stressful and less, you know, running around. And the guests really like it because it's shorter. And the thing with this venue is it's so aesthetically and physically, the physical environment itself is so pleasing to the eye because yeah. you have a beautiful vineyard. And if you want to go outside and get some fresh air or go down by the water, you can. And exactly. And there's a lot of just, movement around and you're not yeah. stuck in a room. You know, you, you have the like whole property. on Earth. Oh, geez. <laughs> it is. It That's is. Nice. I mean, it's beautiful. Thank I mean, you. If, if I were going to get married, I'm not married. But one day, if you want to get married. Anyone? Me, yeah, yeah, anyone. So, everyone listening, <laughs> yeah. April single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I may consider getting married here. Yeah, I, well, mean, I hope you do. 
I always thought it was in a nice place, even when you just had the vineyard and, you know, when your mm -hmm. parents were both still with us. So. Right. Well, at that yeah. time, actually, my sister got married. She was the first wedding here at Sprucewood. Yeah. Yeah. So over 10 years ago, she got married in 2004. Right. Um, she, we just had the vineyard here and she right. said to my dad, my dad retired from his job at Chrysler and she said, dad, I really want to get married at the, at the vineyard. And there was the tent. No, there was nothing here, just vineyard. Like there were no right, buildings. But she got married in the tent. So in the end, my dad yeah. said, my, my sister said, I want to get married in a couple years. So do you think the winery will be ready by then? Cause he had always talked about doing the winery and he said, yeah. okay, I guess I'm doing it. You know, yeah. like it was kind of like that motivation yeah. for him to like follow his passion, get, get this dream completed. And last year, we decided to make the investment in expansion and build this beautiful new wedding hall. Yeah. And so now we can do a completely indoor reception events, right. uh, which is nice though, because we've got these big windows all around the hall. You can open them up and do an outdoor wedding if you want. And what do you recommend? Like, obviously there's different types of couples, different types of people have different ideas about what weddings are right for them. For sure. So what is your best advice for those getting married wanting sort of indoor outdoor wedding because that's pretty much what this is like you mm -hmm. have the option of going outside but now is it for everybody well like a, maybe not because for one you're limited by capacity we can only do 250 okay. so some people okay. want to have 400 people at their wedding okay but i'm finding a lot of couples these days want to maintain under 250 anyway so okay. we do have a really good size for most weddings and what about the um, winter do you do winter so we do winter weddings as well okay. um so for those i would recommend if you want to do your ceremony um, at a church or something like that for over to over 150 people we can't do an indoor ceremony unless we're okay. doing it in our hall okay right so then everybody would be sitting at their table so you know right. if you want to have a separate space yeah. that's the only thing I would recommend however in the summertime or fall or spring we can do outdoor ceremonies okay. and then under 175 150 people we can actually do an indoor ceremony in another building okay in our current winery hall like the one we've had forever we okay. can do your ceremony in there and then your reception in the reception hall and what about your wines here? You have how many different grapes? Remind 11 me. 11 different varieties. Okay. All Vitis Vinifera varieties. All world-class noble right. varieties, right? Okay. So we've got like Riesling, Chardonnay, okay. Pinot Grigio. Those okay. are our three most popular whites. And then we've got the Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. And obviously and all of those types smaller. are offered to your wedding guests or wedding parties that decide, choose yep. to have their weddings here. That's right. You got it. So they can that, pick any wine they okay. want for their wedding day. Okay. Yeah. We've got blends, uh, straight varietals, dry, sweet, red, white, of course. This past Christmas time, all of my family, we're all gathered on the table yeah. and somebody brought a bottle of lady in red awesome and I looked at it and I thought the Mitchells <laughs> yeah was, that's their that's wine and I just thought that's fantastic I was so happy to see it because I thought you know what they're all business is obviously doing well you know mm -hmm. we have a complete well a family of a friend of the family coming to our house for Christmas right. and they brought this bottle of wine so I just yeah. thought well I guess things are going well for the Mitchells because their wine's definitely selling. Yeah, it's what going it, great in the there's LCBO. There's a little bit of story behind that one too. Yes, there the, is. The yeah. Lady in Red. Yeah. So the Lady in Red was named, my mom named that wine. Okay. Right. My mom and dad danced to that song for their wedding. Yeah. And it was always their favorite song, of course, to dance to whenever yeah. they went anywhere. So Lady and Red, my mom came up with the name and we were all at the first like, oh, I don't know, mom, that's kind of hokey. And then... She got us thinking like, yeah, but think about it. It's a it's a red blend. What else are you going to call it? Right? Like right. going to call it a Bordeaux red or right. a, you can't even do that actually. But if you, you, know, you can just call it a proprietary name, that's yeah. a perfect wine because it means something to us. There's so, so much your heart wines in have those to mean something wine to labels, you. Yes. Which is, I think really important people want to make that sort connection. of connection even when mm -hmm. they're buying something like there's something real and organic behind yeah. that label. It wasn't just exactly. sold and marketed in yeah. a very cold and and manufactured way. Yeah. Lady in Red is something people can connect to and yeah. that's what we really liked about it as well and yeah. it means something to us too. So yeah. so it's done really well in the LCBO. It is a blend of Merlot, Cab Sauve and Cab Franc. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's uh it's it, I I love it. It's my favorite red here actually. Yeah. It's good for food, but it's also really nice just sipping wine on its own. So we really wanted something that could to handle any situation and it's So does that usually go hand in hand with the weddings or do you find you have a lot of of couples uh, and families bringing in their own wines or do they opt to? They have to use Spruce Wood when no, they have they a do. wedding here. Uh, we request that they use ours, but our, they don't mind because we've and got- it's good wine. Thank you. It's fabulous, take my word for it. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, and we've got a lot of really good price wines too, so it's not like they're yeah. forced into spending thirty dollars yeah. a bottle. Yeah, we've got wines in the thirteen to fifteen dollar range, so yeah. it's reasonable for them, and it's good good quality because it's it's handcrafted, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's like, quality is our pr priority, yeah. right? We're not just throwing making wine and just you know selling it in droves. Right. We're making small quantities right. and uh, paying a lot of quality control is really important to us. A lot of attention to that. So for um, all those wine lovers out there, yeah. I mean the wine. This wine is good. It's a you said it's a Chardonnay. Yeah, I actually thought it was a Sauvignon Blanc, but it is fresh because it's got a bit of that yeah. touch of dryness that you yeah. don't. It's not standard for a Chardonnay, yeah. to be honest. A lot of Chardonnays are a little bit more buttery, a little more oaky. Yeah. Let's talk about brands, <laughs> wine brands. What brands do, brands do you have and which ones are you selling to LCBO? And most of, uh, of the LCBOs in Ontario carry these. Not yeah. every single one, but most do. Yeah. We have our Pinot Grigio. Yeah. That's a brand new wine we just released in the LCBO this year. Yeah. So we're, it's hot, it's flying hot off the shelves. We're really okay. excited about that. Okay. Uh, we've got that, we've got our Riesling. It's been in the LCBO for three years. It's been a very consistent product for us. It's okay. an off dry Riesling. Okay. So it's a, a nice table wine as yeah. like for dinner, but it's also a great patio wine. As well as the Pinot Grigio. They're both good for that. Both They're good for summer. Both great parties, for summer. Friends, oh yeah. yeah. And if you're a white drinker but yeah. you and you don't like it sweet and you don't like it dry, it's just really nice in between. It's nice okay. and balanced. That's why I always try to make my wines in a very balanced fashion. Okay. So I'm not overdoing in any sort of style, okay. but I, just so that everybody likes it. Okay. And then we have our Lady in Red, of course. Yes. And we've got one more really cool it product is. that not a lot of people know about. It's uh, Warm and Cozy. Okay. And yeah, it's called Warm and Cozy. It's a mulled wine. So What's a mulled a wine? Mulled That's wine, new to me. Yeah, exactly. Not very popular in Ontario. However, it's perfect for Ontario. Is it? It's Why? Because in, in, in Europe, actually, in Germany is where it's very popular. They call okay. it Glühwein there. Okay. And it's a product that you drink warm in a mug. So it's okay. spiced. It's got spices in so it. So like, talking more a winter wine? It's a winter wine. Okay. Yeah. However, we recommend it for camping as well. So if you're okay. outside by the fire, yeah. perfect for that. It's just warm. It just warms your body up. So if you're out like shoveling the snow or you had a long day outside or you're out doing any sports, skiing, it's really popular. We're actually probably going to get in some uh, ski resorts as well. Just don't drink too much. Because it goes right to your head. If it you're does. Skiing. That too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that could be dangerous. So after you're done skiing yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you're trying to warm up after a long day outside, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's perfect by the fire. Yeah. It's really tight. And so you can get it in the LCBO only during the months of November to February. So it's only a winter product in the LCBO. But and you can you get it year round skiing, here. Which I yeah, I'm not liable for that. <laughs> <laughs> that might warm the muscles a little bit. There you go. Right? Yeah. With this wine. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So it's a cool product and that's available as well. Okay. And everything else we have we've got a lot of different sweeter style wines as well yeah. our sweeter fun wines are actually named after our niece and nephew okay. uh, so chillin dylan is okay. one of them that's steve's uh, son okay. and then sweet eloise is my sister's daughter and that's obviously uh, a sweeter wine. they're both sweeter style wines okay. and we have um one more to be made. I got to come up with one for my son. I just had a baby. He's six months old now. His name is Tyler. So if anyone has any ideas, anyone has ideas for naming a wine after Tyler, you let me know. I know you offer something wine tasting, picnic basket, lunches. What do you do? So explain that to me. I'm okay. Sorry. So at Sprucewood here, we do a lot of different things. Uh, you can come in anytime and try wine, right? So okay. that's the biggest thing is okay. we're open 11 to five, Monday through Sunday. Tourists, visitors from the Tourists, States, anybody everyone the okay. can come. Of Aside course. from weddings. My dad always okay. said, leave your striping at the door. Okay. You know, everyone's welcome. Okay. Everyone's equal. Everyone's Right. You know, we right. and we have so many different styles of wine, so there's so many options for you to okay. try okay. that um, you're bound to find something you like. Even people that don't like wine, we ask you to come out and try it yeah, because absolutely. we want to teach you how to like yeah. wine. Absolutely. Okay, so we do have our all tastings every day. We do tours by appointment, so you can do okay. a tour of the winemaking facility. Okay. And during the summertime between May and October, we have picnic basket lunches and cheese charcuterie boards. So the picnic lunch is great on the beach. We can You can take it out, right. get a glass of wine. You right. can drink wine anywhere on the property. You can sit on the lawn by the pond, and we have beautiful gardens on the property too. Right. So it's just, uh, yeah, like we were talking about earlier, it's just a beautiful it's property to enjoy. Yeah, you know, it's you a great all, date idea to too. You all the way up to Niagara. You can, Why, yeah. there's a lot of great vineyards in this area now and there never used to be I mean this is a That's really right. popular place to grow grapes now so I've there read is, in yeah. my research yeah there's yeah. under uh, around 20 wineries in the region yeah. now uh, lots to do a lot of restaurants in the area to go to winery restaurants um, waterfront wineries we're one of the few there's only a few but uh, that's right you know but still um, there's lots to do you can certainly spend a whole weekend out in this area and uh, we do have uh, of course Windsor with a lot of great culinary we've got the, yeah. the casino for those that like to game uh, entertainment 
wise, there's tons in the city as well. There's theaters and there's and the, the American well. dollar and the Canadian dollar because of the exchange. Oh right now, yeah, they're getting the most of their buck right now. That's for yeah, sure. The Americans are for yeah, sure. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a big part of our um, sales here yeah. at the winery. A lot yeah. of visitors from the states come to visit us. Yeah. However, we do have a lot of really great local support, which is yeah. which is wonderful. Right. And we have a of lot course. of people coming from Toronto now, in London, yeah. and Northern Ontario, of course. And you know, we're we're uh, we're a small region. Our wines are, I think, superior or at least the same quality as anywhere else in Ontario. We grow um, the we have the longest growing season in Ontario and the warmest as well. So we can actually ripen our Bordeaux reds that much further. Okay. Um, so you'll find the quality of the wines are great and the prices are even better. So you That's might good. find price some price point is, always price always point is huge. I mean, is, especially when you're and when it outweighs the quality, right? Right. Um, because of our location, uh, we cannot sell our high quality wines for thirty dollars a bottle. So you're right. fi you'll find there's a lot of great wines in the fifteen to twenty dollar okay. mark. Okay. A lot of good stuff out there. So I do recommend people coming out to visit for sure. And uh, yeah, we're we're open every day. And please, yeah. Yeah, and taking Seriously. the fresh air. And you get to meet. Usually, so nice. get to meet one of us. We're all cheers hanging around. Your friends, I'll cheers you right now. So, Tanya Mitchell of Spruce and Shores Estate Winery. Thank you so much for talking with me. I'm gonna go on over and talk to Steve after this. Okay, thanks for coming out, April. You're welcome. I okay, enjoyed cheers. it. Lovely. are walking with Stephen Mitchell who is Tanya's brother and he is also one of the owners here at Sprucewood Shores Estate Winery and Steve there's a new building up why don't you tell us about that your hard your blood sweat and tears that went into it well there was definitely some blood a little bit of sweat <laughs> and uh, you know the good news was there was no tears everything worked yeah. out well it was a bit of a well, basically it starts back in uh, the year pure prior in September we had a really big windstorm yeah. and the windstorm took down the six tents that we usually had used for, for wedding. weddings. Right. Yeah, and right. unfortunately not having uh, tents at the time and being really uncertain with the weather, yeah. we decided that we'd look at moving forward into building right. something and... Uh, so this well, is it. This I'm, is Steve's creation. Ta-da! It's basically a open hall concept, no, okay. no beams in the middle for right. support, so it's completely open okay. and we've gone with a a barn style theme but brought it up a notch in elegance. You get unobstructed views okay. is what it really comes yeah. down to. There's not yeah. a post standing right in front right. of where you're looking. Right. So we've got complete views of the vineyard, all of the windows on the sides open up right. and allow for airflow through the building. Okay. And it yeah, basically it's gives you the airy. feeling of being outdoors when you're indoors. Okay, so the building itself, you said it, 250 people it fits? and it's airy, it's spacious. What are the other benefits? Really nice because we have a patio right next door to the building. Right. And so you can walk out through some walking patio doors right. and enjoy the outdoors right there. Right. If you want to have an event uh, where, say, you'd like to have two parts to your event, you want to have a little bit of an indoor, a little bit of an outdoor uh, type of setup, then you can have that all in one location. And uh, certain things like weddings, for example, you've got the vineyard and a perfect spot to host a wedding right beside where you're actually going to host the rest of your event. So it's nice because we offer an all-in-one outdoor, indoor type package to our guests. I mean, it's just so rustic and natural and organic. So if that's the type of person you are, if you love the outdoors, if you love physical beauty, Sprucewood uh, Shores Winery is definitely the place to be. I mean, I, like I said with Tanya earlier, would definitely get married here. This is it. This is the front and it's gorgeous. So this is what, uh, this is what dad built. This is what, All right. <laughs> this is what dad built. <laughs> yes, he did. And we'll all the that landscaping out. of the property <laughs> yeah. as well. You did all that. Yeah. The grand vision for this place was definitely built by dad. Yeah. He envisioned where everything was going to go. Yeah. He went through all the processes with planning and working through the, with the town in order to put together what is our main building and process center. So he really was the mastermind behind this place. So Steve, this is where um, the bride and groom usually stand to do the ceremony and take pictures? Yeah, it's a beautiful spot because all the guests right behind you here can yeah. take a look at the beautiful pond, nature on the right with all the trees, yeah. and then of course the lake. Right. You look at it on a day like today and it's sparkling, it's gorgeous. So there's a stone here for Hannah Mitchell, and what does this tell us, basically, in a nutshell? This is a poem. 
but there's simply a poem about her. Same with dad, you know, just kind of people they were, their vision in life and the path they led and what they meant to us. So Steve and Tanya Mitchell, thank you so much for having me to yeah. Spruce Wood Shores Estate Winery. Fabulous place to have a wedding if you're looking and the wine, amazing.